The last all-military equestrian championships of the year, the three-day UCAF event, has taken place at Berry Farm in Bedfordshire. Up for grabs, the culmination of several season-long events, including the much-prized Lorena's Trophy. And in one of the closest competitions for years, it was the REF who emerged with their first title since 2010. It's been uh, long awaited, yeah, we were put into a, a fantastic position at the beginning of the season by our dressage riders winning that leg really convincingly at the RAF champs, so that was excellent, and then our eventers consolidated that lead uh, in June at the army champs, um, and then we went off to David Brooms in the summer for the show jumping leg, where the army did win that leg, but we managed to come second, so we were still just in the lead, and it was all to play for yesterday in the combined training. We won the leg last year, so we were sort of hoping, but as anyone who's got horses will tell you anything can happen and then over the course of the day lots of things did happen and we had uh, it was very interesting and uh, we were all stood all 12 of the riders in fact were all stood in a huddle at the end waiting for the results and none of us could work out we just didn't know what was going on so we were just waiting for them to announce the results. The number of forces riders has been bolstered by members of the police and other emergency services to make a gala event, which included dressage and show events to highlight excellence in areas like horse turnout. This year we've grown the show championship into a festival, a three-day event, and that's because we're collaborating for the first time with um, Police Sport UK and the Blue Lights Horse Show, which used to be a, a separate entity. Um, so we've decided to combine forces, quite literally. And uh, at this show, we, we welcome, we always did, but we're welcoming even more of the emergency services and protective services community to come and play, um, compete and enjoy this um, amazing venue uh, for, for the first time together. So we've got, yeah, our numbers are bolstered by, uh, the, by the, the other uniformed uh, competitors. The highlight of the third day, the final chance for riders and horses to qualify for the 2024 service jump final at the London International Horse Show at Christmas. 23 entered, aiming to get the most number of points to make the magic top eight. Only four made it through to the jump off with clear rounds. They included leading hand Robin McFadden on her horse Red Hot Chili Piper. Despite having a fence down in the final round, she qualified in eighth place as the sole Navy representative. Well, it's a great achievement. Uh, I'm very proud of him. This is his first qualifier. Um, so we just got in on the skin of our teeth. Um, but it just makes all the trips over from Belfast worthwhile. Um, obviously, it's a lot of travel logistics. It just makes it all worthwhile to get there in the end. The RAF got two riders through, Warrant Officer Keely Martin on Rack and Wind Dancer and Flight Lieutenant Michelle Randall on Isonesia. There'll be one police rider in the final, Holly Clark on Rass and Polly, and four from the Army. Gunner Charlotte Pudge had already made it as the top qualifier and joining her will be Staff Sergeant Louise Hoyle on Boudoir Papillon, Major Ralph Potty on his horse Super Mario and the winner of the day with the only double clear round, Major Nicola Barge on Hummer the Third. It's the culmination of a, a year's hard work uh, through the Army Show Jumping Team um, and yeah, it's, 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 it's the icing on the cake at the end of the year. And this is your first, uh, your first final, will it be? That's right, yeah, yes, yes. So uh, I'm quite excited to go and experience the big arena. Brilliant. I mean, it's an opportunity of a, a lifetime to get to jump at such a prestigious event like, um, like the London International, previously Olympia, obviously now XL. But um, yeah, it's what everyone really aspires to uh, throughout the season and works really hard towards. The prize at the end on December the 20th will be the honour of being the force's top rider of the year at one of the biggest equestrian events in the world. Organisers of the London International have changed the time of the final to the afternoon, which means more spectators will see our outstanding riders and horses battle it out. John Knighton, BFBS Forces News, Bedfordshire. Thanks for watching. For more from BFBS Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.